Ah, adventure films. Don't you just love them? That peaceful bliss out in the wilderness for all you suckers in the real world to enjoy on your commute home. The heroic, handsome explorers looking gorgeous and spouting wisdom. Now, I'm all up for a bit of that, but I've, I've taken it upon myself to share a bit of the reality of adventure filmmaking, the stuff that goes into the drones, the gazing out to sea, and the mindfulness whittling moments. There's the endless setting up of bloody cameras to capture the natural adventure far from technological stress. There's the filtering out of far too much nudity and damned selfie sticks, or me behaving like a prat. <laughs> More than anything else though, there's the walking. So much walking. Here's my life. Set the camera up. Walk off into the distance. Turn around. Walk back again. Do this a lot. Or I dash off to get the peaceful campfire and coffee clip, or the I bet you're jealous of my zen-like simplicity sunset shot, and then dash back and turn the camera off again. And there's, there's nothing zen-like about the worry of flying your drone, taking off a very expensive drone from a little kayak and then having to land it again as the battery beep, 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 beep warns you it's running out and about to crash. <sighs> and then there's the difficulty of filming yourself. And filming yourself in a kayak is ridiculously hard. So here's a single 15-minute clip sped up to show me paddling backwards and forwards across the water in all sorts of different angles so that I can use that in the in the edit. Oh, the, the daft things you put yourself through, like um, trying to get up the nerve to jump into some cold water. Obviously, I'll edit out all this wimpishness and, uh, and then having to do it all again and again to get a different angle on the shot. So remember, when you see the hero living the life under the stars by the campfire, remember, He's still shivering from too much cold swimming. He's still stressed from his drone nearly crashing. He's not nearly as cool as he's edited himself to look. And he's not even relaxed. He's been zooming around for hours trying to get all these shots. And he's whistled far less of that bloody hipster spoon than he would have done if he'd been sitting on the slow commuter train home with you. That's the reality of adventure filmmaking.